guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I thought I'd bring you guys, like, a, just a glimpse into kind of what I normally wear. Um, I figured I'd run through my collection and give you guys all of the perfumes that are the most used, the most dented, the ones that you can clearly see have some love in them. There is quite a few fragrances here, so I'm just going to run through all of them. They aren't in any particular order. We're just going to kind of talk about them and just go from there. So, the only one we are going to talk about first is, of course, My Majesty Exotic. You guys know this is my love. I have five backup bottles up there of her. I have an empty one. I've already gone through about half of her. She's just my love. I love, love, love this one. It is so pretty. It's fruity and musky, but not at the same time. It's just so pretty. Like, it's... I. I love this fragrance. It's just that, that cedar wood in the base mixing with the mango and the lavender just give it this really unique edge. It's just one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. I don't know. Next, we'll talk about Viva La Juicy Sucre. I mean, she's she's been loved. She's she's down there. This is a beautiful scent. It's Viva La Juicy bumped up and on the sweetness to an extreme. This smells like cupcakes and like bakeriness and it's got a warmthness to it but it's also got the Viva La Juicy DNA in there and I get so many compliments when I wear this. My husband loves this. He thinks it smells beautiful. I just, this is a great, great one. Next up, we'll talk about, why not her? <clears throat> Platinum Rush. This is Paris Hilton. I've used, I mean, this much of her. She's, she's down there. I mean, I stopped using her and started using her, and she's got a good dent in her, too. This is a really, really crisp, clean scent. It reminds me of, like, expensive hotels and, like, just, like, a hotel with a pool. Like, it's got this kind of aquaticness to it. It's very fresh. It's very clean. It's very mature, but not overly mature. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Next up, I'm going to grab my phone, too, because there's one here that i got to show you guys with my flashlight. Um... Of course, we'll talk about Selena Gomez. She's been loved. I mean, she's... This one's empty, and this one's down to here. Like, it's it's been loved. This is pineapple chocolate. It's a super unique but also safe scent. Really, really like this one. It's been a longtime favorite of mine, um, and also a very big compliment getter. Um, if you need something a little bit different, it's got this, like I said, it's pineapple and chocolate, and it's got this really prominent chocolate note in it that's just super, super pretty. Another Paris Hilton that we'll talk about is Gold Rush. This is just a beautiful fragrance. Um, I was started wearing this a lot more and stopped wearing another one that was dented, and that is a Wishmaker. This one smells a lot like this. I mean, this one's been dented and it's got some love too. They have very similar qualities. Um, I just stopped wearing this one because this is easier to get than this. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's vanilla and amber and done right. Like, it's just this warm vanilla scent that's very sexy, very sophisticated, and just a really good scent. Um, this one, Viva La Juicy. Uh, La Fleur, another one with a good, significant dent in it, especially for it being a, um, this is like a five ounce bottle, I think. Yeah. Um, this is floral, um, and sweet. Like, to me, this smells like candy, sweet, floral. Um, it doesn't last the longest, but I also use this as like a nighttime or staying at home type scent, just because it gives those type of vibes to me, and I think it's just really pretty and easy to wear around the house. Um, one from my last video, Viva or er, I got Viva La Juicy since I said those. Um, Mariah Carey, that chick. This one's definitely got a dent in it. Another clean floral. This isn't the same as, like, Platinum Rush. This has got a fruity quality to it. It's, uh, very, very different from a lot of things I've smelled. And, of course, she only made this in a 5-ounce, so I use this sparingly, but I love her. She smells so good. And, of course, one that started the entire collection, Miss Wonderstruck. I have gone through probably at least 1.7 ounces of this. Um, I don't have the original bottle that I started my collection with um, just because it got knocked around and thrown around before I started making the collection. Um, and this is just, it's fruity and woody and musky and dark and sophisticated but young and playful. I just, I love this scent, not just because it's Taylor Swift, but I I mean, it definitely plays an influence. The one that I needed my flashlight for, 
Rue 21's Neon Summer. This scent is beautiful. I'm going to show you guys with my flashlight if this will focus. Yeah, there it is. There's the water line on that. Um, I have started using this a lot more sparingly because I found out how much it goes for online. Like, it literally goes for $80 to $130 online. And this was a $10 perfume at Rue 21 when it came out. But for a good reason. It's sweet. It's got candy, uh, cotton candy, blueberry in it, but also it's got some floral in it, so it's a really well-rounded scent, and it doesn't smell cheap at all, it lasts a really long time, and it actually, like, gets compliments, and you don't want to tell people you're wearing a Rue 21 scent, but you're wearing a Rue 21 scent. Next up is Britney Spears' Island Fantasy. As you guys can see, she's been loved, she's been dented. This is, um, a perfect melon and sugar type scent. Um, only problem is it doesn't last the longest, but also in the summer, if you want to wear a fragrance and wear multiple within a day, this is a really good option because it doesn't last the longest, so you can, you know, change throughout the day. We're not going to move over, people. The one I just knocked over is Princess Revolution by Miss Vera Wang, if it'll focus. Hello. Um, this is, like, hard candy and, like, red berries to me. This is beautiful. I love this. It's different, but also not. It is a hard candy red berry scent that doesn't get too over, like, overly hard candy fruity. doesn't get too musky and floral, and it doesn't get that, like, weird sickly sweet. It's a really well done, really well, really well rounded. That was hard to say. Um, scent, but I really, really like that one. Very underrated scent from her collection. Another dented princess is Miss Princess of Hearts. She's also... In that same kind of vein, she's fruity. She's a little bit crisper. She's a little bit cleaner. Um, I love her. She's another, you know, very popular one. But definitely in that kind of like fruity, berry-esque with the crisp cleanness to it as well. A unique one that I think is just beautiful. If she'll focus. Hello. Thank you. Hippie Princess. Um, this one, I don't know if it's really showing up there how much I've used. Uh, this is, I definitely was... To like thrown off by this when I first smelled it because I thought this was going to be a little bit different for being a hippie princess but nevertheless it has an earthy quality to it just not as earthy as I was thinking it was going to be but that makes it you know even better because I wouldn't like an earthy fragrance myself and this is just perfect it's got this girly early like teen edge to it but then it's really you know modernized and sophisticated by this um this woodiness in the back of it that's super interesting. It's a very unique scent, and if you can find it, definitely pick it up. One of my favorite Kardashian fragrances that I've definitely used a lot of is this is Crystal Pear and Peony. Um, I had one of these. I ended up buying two of them, and I had gone through one of them, and I was going to have this as a backup, and then I left it in my car, and then someone decided to go through my car and throw it, and so it doesn't work no more, and I can't even decant it. Anyway, so we have this one, and I had to use quite a bit of that before it got to the point where I can't use it now. I could probably figure out a way to get everything out of there if I really tried, but she's floating around here somewhere. Um, next up, we'll talk about Miss Fantasy in Bloom, and you can tell she's been loved. She is um, a cherry dryer sheet. To me, she smells a lot like another love of mine, and that is Escada Cherry in the Air. And I can't really turn this one because this cap is like, it's, yeah, it's barely on there. I love this scent. I haven't used what I have in here because it is super hard to find. And this substitutes that, that itch that this scratches. Like, it's a really good fragrance. I really do enjoy that one. Um, this one's just more cherry dryer sheet than the other one. Um, that's just the only real difference to me in that. Then we have Wild Glow by Miss JLo. And if I turn that around, you can actually see it the correct way. Wild Glow by JLo. This is another one of those fruity, clean, crisp, in the same realm of these two type of scent. As you guys can see, I have kind of a vibe. We have like three scent profiles that I really like. Uh, we like really fruity scents. We like gourmet scents that are like vanilla and cupcake. And then we like these like crisp clean type scents um another favorite of mine and yes you guys are gonna freak out about this bottle because i've shown this a couple times and you guys have just stunned and of course it isn't showing well on here let's throw an iphone flash on this baby real quick 
because she is gorgeous. This is a custom, um, I did this myself. This is Cloud, and I threw all these gemstones on it just to make her extra pretty and extra beautiful. Um, just because I got bored in quarantine and wanted to do something. I, as you can tell, I got bored halfway through doing it. Like most things, I started and just didn't finish. So, we just show her from this side where she's beautiful and pretty, and we just don't show that side, okay? Thank you. But, most dented part of that is, I mean, I've used this much of this. And I stopped wearing this because it became so popular. And not even just on the internet, but like in my town, a lot of people were wearing it, and I just couldn't. Once other people start wearing stuff that I and I can notice that I just don't wear it no more. Um, same thing happened with her. I loved her, and then I started smelling her. She is Ari by Miss Ariana Grande. Um, a different twist on the typical celebrity perfume. Um, this is a little bit more of a musky edge to it. Um, definitely a little bit different, but definitely a fan favorite um and something you can get your hands on relatively cheap um then there's thank you next 2.0 and she's brand new and i've already used this much of her like she is another crisp clean uh apple-y type scent i really like apple in my fragrances and she's just in that kind of like crisp clean floral apple type <sighs> speaking of florals we have uh, miss spring brain by katie perry this is one I've gone through an entire one ounce. This smells a lot like Marc Jacobs Daisy, but it's completely different. It's got this oily edge to it because there's Devana oil in it, which definitely translates to the fragrance, but in a really pretty way. Like, it's hard to describe, but it's amazing. But this smells more like walking through a wet garden after the rain than Daisy does. Like, it's got that similar vibe, but this smells more natural and more real and less synthetic than Daisy, if that makes sense. And it, she's pretty. I don't know how well you can find her now, but um, she's definitely my, like, spring, early spring type fragrance. A couple Shakiras that I've used a lot of. We have I Am Rock. She's pretty. She's... Why? Hello? Thank you. She's super pretty. She's a little bit different. She reminds me of some other type fragrances. But she's just got this pretty dry down. It's just kind of earthy and warm. And it's... I don't know. There's something about this that's just very warm to me. It's kind of sweet in, a, in an interesting way, um, but also it's very sophisticated, very grown up, very simple. It kind of smells like an old book in a little bit, but not like a magazine, but like, I just, this is pretty. And then there's the coffee lover, Miss Rock the Night, in her pretty neon purple bottle. We love her. Um, she's not black opium. She's a different interpretation, and she's not the next one. She is... Very, very pretty. She definitely, Shakira's line is very underrated and definitely something you guys should check out. This one, definitely, for sure. If you like coffee type scents, you like black opium, you like this one, you will definitely like this. And let's turn the bottle around. This is Private Show by Miss Britney Spears. A lot of people compare this to black opium. I do not see that comparison personally. This is a floral coffee scent. This is definitely creamier and definitely more iced coffee than black opium, which I definitely feel is more like coffee beans and black coffee. And, of course, we can't talk about her without talking about her. This is another one of those hard candy type scents. This is a little bit different from this type of a scent, but still in the same vein. Um, but definitely very, very different from this. Um, but she's pretty. Definitely another hard candy with a pretty floralness to it. And finally, two more Nicki Minaj fragrances. We have Menajesty, the original one. Obviously, I love the original, or Menajesty Exotic, so I gotta love the original. Um, I just don't love this one as much. She's got some red berries in her, and I loved her. And I mean, this is about how much I used of her and the, the before Menajesty Exotic came out, and then Menajesty Exotic came out, and she can't touch her. Every now and again, I'll throw her on, but honestly, really, she hasn't gotten much love since Menajesty Exotic came out. And then there's Onika, the pear bomb, the sugared pear beauty of Nikki's collection. I love this fragrance. Um, it's pear and sugar done right, in my opinion. It doesn't smell too synthetic to me. I just do wish that it lasted a little bit longer. 
So there you guys go. There is my um, most used fragrances in my collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be trying to do more videos for you guys. I know I just uploaded one and here's another one. So I'm going to try to continue the momentum and hopefully get another one out later this week. Um, and we'll see how many more I can get going for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, AFS Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.